Good morning. I'm Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about cut set matrix and the fundamental cut set matrix. This topic is present in the subject circuit analysis. A connected graph can be separated into two parts by removing certain branches of the graph. This is equivalent to cutting a graph into two parts, hence it is referred as cut set. Now we discuss about cut set matrix. Yeah, cut set is a minimal set of branches of a connected graph such that after removal of these branches, graph gets separated into two distinct parts, each of which a connected graph with the condition that replacing any one branch from the cut set makes the graph connected. Consider an oriented graph as shown in figure A. This graph comprises of four nodes A, B, C and D and having six branches, branch 1, branch 2, branch 3, branch 4, branch 5 and branch 6. Consider that branches 1, 3, 4 and 6 are removed from the graph which are shown by dashed lines in the figure B. This is the representation of the oriented graph which comprises of all the branches branch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. From this oriented graph we are going to remove the branches 1, 3, 4 and 6. The removed branches are indicated in the dashed lines here. The graph was divided into two parts, each of which is connected. Now, each branch is replaced one at a time we get connected graph for every branch replaced in the figure C, D, E, F. This is the figure C. Here, branch 4 is replaced. This is figure D. Here, branch 1 and 4 is replaced. This is figure E. Here, Branch 1, branch 3 is replaced. Here, figure F, the branches 4, 1 and 3 gets replaced. Thus, a set of branches 1, 3, 4, 5 forms a cut set. We can have another set of branches 6, 2, 3, 5 giving another cut set. Hence, for any graph, there may be more than one cut sets and every graph has at least one cut set. The cut set separates the node of the graph into two groups, each being in one of its terminals incident at a node in one group and its other end at a node in the other group. So, we can consider that all the branches joined at a node forms a cut set since by removing them the graph would be split into two parts. The cut set matrix capital Q suffix A be written by considering the orientation of the cut set from one of the two parts to the other. Consider an oriented graph as shown in figure A as below. Here we have four nodes 
A, B, C and D. And we have 5 branches. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The elements of the cut set matrix Q suffix A are given as follows. Q suffix IJ is equal to plus 1 if branch J is in cut set I with orientation of both coinciding. Q suffix IJ is equal to minus 1 if branch J is in the cut set I with orientation not coinciding. Q suffix IJ is equal to 0 if branch J is not in the cut set I. For the graph shown in figure B, the cut sets can be listed as follows. Orientation of cut sets is indicated in figure B. Cut set C1 it is having branches 1 comma 2. Cut set C2 having branches 2, 3, 4. Cut set C3 having branches 4, 5. Cut set 4 having branches 1, 3, 5. Cut set 5 having branches 1, 3, 4. Cut set 6 having branches 2, 3, 5. This is indicated in this figure B. The cut set matrix can be written in tabular form as here we have six cut sets C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6 and we have branches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have represented the value for each cut sets. Cut set 1 is having the branches 1, 2. It is indicated here. Cut set 2 is having branches 2, 3, 4. It is indicated here. Cut set 3 is having branches 4, 5. It is indicated here. Cut set 4 is having branches 1, 3, 5 it is indicated here. Cut set 5 is having branches 1, 3, 4 it is indicated here. Cut set 6 is having branches 2, 3, 5 it is indicated here. The values are represented based on the orientation with this graph. The above tabular column can be represented in the form of matrices. Thus, the cut set matrix Q suffix A is given by this is the matrix representation of the cut set matrix. It is having branches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 having values. Branch 6 is not having any values. So, it is not considered in this matrix. It comprises of only 5 branches. And cut sets, here we have 6 cut sets, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, it is indicated here. Cut sets are present in the row wise, branches are present in the column wise in the matrix. For any graph, number of cut sets may be extensively large. So to ease simplification, subset of cut set matrix is considered which is called fundamental cut set or F cut set matrix. A fundamental cut set of a graph is a set of one twig and one chords at a node. It is apparent that at each node for each twig there will be a fundamental cut set. For a graph with n nodes there will be n minus 1 number of fundamental cut sets. The orientation of F cut sets is selected such that it coincides with the orientation of the defining tweak of F cut set. Consider an oriented graph as shown in figure A. 
This is the representation of oriented graph. It comprises of four nodes A, B, C and D and five branches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Its orientation is indicated in the diagram. Select one tree as shown in figure B. This is a representation of a tree. In this figure B, we have branch 2, 3, 4. These branches are part of the tree. It is indicated in this diagram. Branch 1 and 5 are not the part of the tree. So it is indicated in the dotted lines. In the tree, the twigs are shown by dark lines while links are shown by dashed lines. The fundamental cut sets are given by n minus 1. That is, in this tree, we have 4 nodes. So, n is equal to 4. So, the fundamental cut set values are 4 minus 1. That is 3. The fundamental cut sets are shown in figure C, D and E. The F cut sets, that is fundamental cut sets, can be listed as below. F cut set to 1 comprises of 2 comma 1 branches. This is the representation of F cut set to 1. First we have to indicate the twig, then we have to indicate the links. In figure C, that is F cut set 1, the 2 is at part of the tree. So, it is represented first. 1 is not the part of the tree. So, it is represented later. F cut set 2 is having branches 4, 5. It is indicated in figure D. And this is the representation of figure D. In this figure D, we have branch 4 as twig and branch 5 as links. F cut set 3 comprises of branches 3, 5, 1. It is indicated here. The F cut set schedule is given as follows. This is the tablet column of F cut set. Comprises of five branches, one, two, three, four, five, and three cut sets, F cut set one, F cut set two, and F cut set three. It is indicated here. Hence, fundamental cut set matrix is given by, this is the representation of fundamental cut set matrix. The branches are represented as column. The fundam F cut sets or fundamental cut sets are represented as rows. Many times fundamental cut set matrix is written by writing twig entries first and then link entries. The fundamental cut set matrix can then be written as the representation. Here, the twigs are branch 2, 3, 4. It is represented first. And the links 1, 5, which are not the part of the tree, are represented later. It is indicated in the matrix. Here, Q is equal to Q suffix T is to Q suffix L. That is equal to U is to Q suffix L, where the matrix consisting entries of links is called a link matrix that is denoted by Q suffix L above, where Q suffix T is the twig matrix with all entries of the graph. Moreover, the twig matrix is identity matrix. It is represented as Q suffix T is equal to U 
that is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1.